Dude, I saw him just sitting there, like, on the shelf. I'm, like, nervous. I'm looking around, like, I'm a grown-ass man buying a toy right now. Yeah, man, this month is kind of just... Man, fuck. What's wrong, Kyle? Man, these kids, man, talking shit, making me feel bad. Man, fuck them kids, bro. L look around, bro. Look at life. Man, thanks, little boat. Look at these niggas. So high as a boat. Get it with it. GLE, so I am a movie, man. Hey, this guy, what's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to another Topic Tuesday with the clean audio. We got the new lens on there, man. This is the 24 1.4. Let me know what you guys think. Huge shout out to all you guys in the last one that participated. Like I said, I just want this to be a big discussion. Just show some love. Appreciate you guys. You gave me a thousand likes. That's all I asked for. So I got a lot to talk about today, but you know, in particular, obviously. The most important Air Jordans that are dropping this March. This month is what I meant to say, but you know, month and March, they both work together. So I will say, man, it's a dry month. You know, we've been talking about it on my Patreon. If you guys don't already follow me on my Patreon, it's a, basically a group, exclusive access. Just we'll chop it up. I still got content, still got ideas that need to happen in the Patreon. But you know, we had a little discussion about it and I personally think March is a month to just stack up, bro. Save your money. Take your girl on a date, man. Stop buying all them sneakers, dude. Chill. Buy your mama a house or something. <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. But you, you feel me with the AirPods? Y'all trying to play me in the last video trying to say, like, hey, bruh. Shake in my head, dog. You got the wired Apple headphones. Chill, dude. Chill. So, you know, before we get into the specific March releases, I just want to sit and talk to you guys, right? So, I wish I would have vlogged this last week. The Funko Pop dropped, right? Another note, make sure you drink some water today. Your boy been out here trying to drink like 90 ounces of water, half my body weight. Drink, drink your water, sponsored. But yeah, man, so these Funko Pops actually dropped. This is the Michael Jordan exclusive only at Target. And dude, let me tell you, this was the most difficult thing to pick up. I mean, you guys saw I started, started finessing on these. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little story time. So if you didn't know about these Funko Pops, I really didn't know. I'm I'm brand new to it. But when I saw they had a Michael Jordan one, and it's exclusive, it brought out like the inner ah, hoarder slash. I can't. I'm not. I'm not really a hypebeast, bro. Honestly, I'm I'm really not. Like I like hype stuff, but I'm not really a hypebeast. That's not that's not my thing. I don't wear like Supreme and Bape. You know, I got the posters in the back because they're dope. But other than that, I don't. I don't nah, I, just, I wear what I like. So. The thing about these is like, it brought out the old school sneaker days. You can only buy one per person, I guess. They're like matte. People are aggressive when it comes to these pop sockets, or pop sockets, these Funko Pops, and I didn't even know. So I went to my local Target, and they had about 15 of them things. I was like, bro, best believe. I saw them just sitting there, like, on the shelf. I'm like nervous, I'm looking around like, I'm a grown ass man buying a toy right now. So I put one in my cart, put two, end up having like five, right? And a lady walks up to me, an employee, and she's like, are you buying those? And I'm like, nah, they're just in my cart. Come on, seriously? Nah, I didn't really say that, but that's what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah. And she's like, well, you can't do that. You can only buy one per person. And I'm like, what? All right, put them on the shelf, walk around. I'm like, bruh. This is stupid. Like, how are you gonna tell a grown man he can't buy a toy? Like, that's what's crazy to me. Anyway, I ended up buying this one, and they had the the uh, common one. This actually dropped at Foot Locker, right? Uh, this is the 54, this is the 56, this is the Target exclusive, in case you guys were wondering about these. So I got both of these, went to go check out, and they started sweating me, bro. I went to self-checkout, the lady was like, wait! You hold yourself home up! And she was on me, right? So I'm like, Trying to buy a toy, just let me go. So then she walkie talkies. Then a dude comes over and goes, Excuse me, sir, you can only buy one of those. And I'm like, Bro, they aren't the same. 54, 56. All right. So then that was that. I got two and I was like salty because there's 15 more in the back that I could have had. So I go to another Target, sold out. They sold out immediately within 30 minutes of it opening, which I was like, this is a real thing. And then I was just traveling all throughout the country. I ended up getting 10. I got 10 of these. Um, no, they're not for sale. I'm literally a hoarder. They look dope. They're sitting right behind the camera. You guys can't see them. But yeah, I ended up picking up 10. Moral of the story, finesse gang. I was paying people. I was like going up to girls and old men. I'm like, yo, bro, um, these Funko Pops are exclusive. I give you $10. Can you go buy it from me? And they're like, sure. And then that's how I got 10. I finessed. Uh, 
I went to another Target. They said they were sold out, but the employees are liars and they end up hiding them. So I got like four from that time. I went in, they had one sitting out, bought it, changed my jacket. I went to my car, changed my jacket, went back inside, bought another one. And then I found two girls that were reading books that looked like nice ladies. And I was like, excuse me, do you think you could buy these? Boom, walked out with four, kept it moving. And then just yesterday, went back to another Target that originally said they were sold out and they had them. I got another one and then I asked some old dude, shout out to you, man, if you watch my videos, I know you are. <laughs> Nah, it was just some elderly man, appreciate you. I went up to him, very respectful. It pays to be nice, it really does. And he bought another one for me and boom. I wish I could've got more, but they all sold out. Like, I don't know, people are animals. So yeah, that was my Funko Pop experience. Let me know if you guys cop these, are you interested in them? I know a lot of people are just like me, wondering like, yo, what's the big deal? It's more so, it's just Michael Jordan, bro, come on. I got all these sneakers, of course I'm gonna get Michael Jordan, I don't care. It really like brought back the 2013 vibes where you had to like go to a store and camp out and like be secretive and try to finesse and you get a little nervous like I miss those days I don't really get that with sneakers as much anymore so yeah you know what I'm saying like this was crazy I couldn't even believe it I was this made me angry happy sad all at the same time and you gotta love it so yeah shout out to Target I still finessed y'all winners win losers lose <laughs> Other than that, let's get into what you guys asked me to talk about today. You know, my favorite songs out right now. Uh, I won't get into songs specifically. I'll just talk about my artists that I like to listen to. Uh, Sniper Jones actually put me on a dude named Reason, which his album I really rock with. Boogie. Boogie is cool. Um, very cool vibe. I've been listening to a lot of black. Um, Post Malone, Daniel Caesar, Childish Gambino. Lil Uzi, Tentacion, they're still all heavy in my rotation. I try to like listen to new music. If you guys have any recommendations, you can drop them down below, but I'm kind of getting tired of my same old music. Low key, I'm about to start playing like some Al Green, some Brian McKnight, some Tevin Campbell. I'm about to take it back because I need some of that good music. Yeah, I don't really know who I'm looking forward to like as far as music drops. I listened to Offset's new album. It was cool, it was cool. I, a lot of the new air albums, I think I gotta play a couple times over and over. Obviously, we all know J. Cole's the GOAT, regardless. Y'all try to roast me on Instagram, trying to tell me that I don't know nothing about no J. Cole when I got the warm up on my phone, bro. Don't play me. Important topic I wanted to talk to is talk about is leg day. Now, obviously, you guys know I've been working out a lot more. Um, I can do a breakdown of all my supplements and workouts. Like I said, I wanna bring performance reviews and just health and wealth. All goes into sneakers and fashion. When you feel good, you look good, you wanna buy more clothes, you wanna dress up, you wanna look good. I mean, when you're heavier, I just wanted to wear all black and extra large tees. No, this is a large tee, bro. You know, large pants. Healthy boys, you know, healthy boys. That's what it's all about. Let's get into the rundown of what has released and what is going to release this month, specifically in Jordans. If you guys would like me to extend this even more into Nikes, Adidas, I can always do that, but for now, we're just gonna talk about the most important drops of this month. Pretty basic, nothing crazy. Uh, you guys know the Proto dropped. It was in the gray, the white, and the black colorway. That dropped in the first. I don't know about those. I personally haven't seen them in hand, nor have I, I just haven't seen them in hand. I mean, simple as that. I don't know anything much about them. Performance shoe uh, looks interesting. Probably something that I personally wouldn't grab. Maybe to do a performance review. I, I really need to look more into those. Uh, that's the newest thing since All-Star Weekend. And then I think one of the ugliest, like, just disappointing fours that is releasing is the nostalgia or I should say already released man what is today I don't even know what today is I missed the fifth already bro today's the fifth okay so the nostalgia's already dropped that just goes to show you I was way out of tune with those ugly shoe reminds me I will always compare the most trash fours to the ultimate Jordan 4 that dropped like a couple years ago because that was just terrible just terrible. Maybe we should get into some stuff that's actually coming out soon. So on the 7th, I believe the Air Jordan 33 in the vast gray colorway is gonna come out. I have always had bad experiences hooping in Jordans. You know, the only shoes that held up for me was probably the Concords and the Cool Gray 11s I played with in college. I had about 20 of them things, maybe more. But retail on those is gonna be $175. Uh, kind of a cool looking shoe. You guys can let me know what you think about it. I would hope by now they perfected the shoe so i would be willing to try it out now for some reason the theme of the month is the whole nostalgia they have a jordan 9 dropping it's gonna be coming out in the ninth it's cool and all this it's trash bro come on what jordan brand what are you doing now westbrook has his why nots i wish i would have been invited <clears throat> to that jordan brand event 
<clears throat> in L in L A. Jordan Brand, my email's down below. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just a YouTuber. So again, another shoe that I haven't seen in person. This is the OKC colorway. Cool looking shoe. I like it. It looks sleek. Uh, you would hope it was a good shoe based on that it's Westbrook's signature, right? I mean, Westbrook's explosive, very powerful player. Hopefully Jordan Brown got him ripping through his shoes like Zion. Oh, fuck! That could have been worse. Now, Alayla May actually has, I think, Alayla? Alayla May, model, designer. She has an Air Jordan 6 that is dropping. I don't know how women feel about this. I think it's cool. It is what it is. Usually her shoes are pretty dope for the most part. I do want to pick up her ones that she dropped way back. Like, was it last year or the year before? I think those were super hard. Uh, the newest ones that came out, they were cool. The fur thing was a little strange, but hey, you got to try different things. The six, very plain and simple, plain Jane. This will sell out, probably be worth a little bit of money. Retail is going to be $190. I'm not sure if this is for men or women or if it's going to be both, but it does drop on the 15th and... It's cool. Maybe Mary will like them. Maybe your girl will like them. I don't know. Maybe you're a girl and you will like them. Let me know. Now, if anything, I would say they saved the best for last in a sense. Uh, there's a Jordan 1, Jordan 13, and a Jordan 3 that are dropping. And they're all pretty basic. Most likely they're going to sit. I can't imagine any of these selling out. I think out of the three that are dropping, it would have to be the Tinker. I'll just put those up on the screen. You guys can see white silhouette with the red hints. Not bad. Uh, just a shoe, you know? Just wanna, just another shoe. I don't wanna say like it's getting played out or anything, cause I, I wouldn't say that. It's just, it's it's a decent shoe, right? Same with the Jordan 1, all white silhouette with the red. The theme this month is very crazy. At this point, Jordan Brand is just putting out shoes to put out shoes as usual. They hit us with some bangers, they hit us with some just outlet pickups. The majority of this month, is most likely you'll see these shoes at the outlet at some point, I personally think. Maybe not the Jordan 6s, but everything else I can imagine will be at the outlet. I can't see any hype behind any of this, and I'm not saying it's all about hype. You buy what you like, but I'm just telling you my personal opinion. It's not a shoe that I like. I just personally am not like, oh, damn, those are so hard that I need them. You know, something like the Turbo Green Ones, which ended up being a GR, right? But I needed those, they were fire. Like there was no hype behind it for me. I was like, yo, the colorway is ridiculous. It all comes down to personal opinion, right? Like you buy what you like, that's the whole point of this. We are all collectors in our own way and it brings us together as a community. As simple as that, like I just, none of these are visually pleasing to me where I'm like, damn, I need to scoop those. So like I said, this month, man, just sit back, relax and just save some money and get prepared for the next few months or you know, save up for a shoe that you really want. I have some extremely fire pickups coming that are from the past and I can't wait to get them. But yeah, man, this month is kind of just whack. But I'm not, I'm not even mad, bro, because like I said, save money. Go buy you a Funko Pop, dog. $9 with tax and everything. This was really like my hype for the month. But there you guys have it, man. That's pretty much it for today's Topic Tuesday. Shout out to all of you, man. Tons of you gave me a bunch of topics for the next few weeks so stay tuned i'll be sure to answer all of those and it doesn't have to be just about sneakers man this channel can be about whatever this topic tuesday i want it to be specifically about whatever you guys wanted me to talk about uh kind of like my own i don't want to say it's a podcast it's just me being me just hanging out man just having fun you know no strict edits nothing specific it's just us talking and a discussion down below but i mean we even got something is like how to stay motivated and fight depression you know I want you guys to really be able to ask me anything. And as far as like answering your question, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna end the video with this. How to stay motivated and fight depression. For me, you know, everybody has their own type of depression and it all comes down to fulfillment. Like what truly drives you? What are you truly passionate about? Like what fuels you? And I will say maybe like a year and a half ago, I was extremely like in this weird phase of not depression you know i was sad i weighed 215 pounds i didn't want to upload any videos i hated youtube i didn't know what i was going to do with my life i thought i was going to have to get it like a real job and i ended up moving to la and just taking all these extreme risks for my own mental health and my own well-being and i got on the right track man i started losing weight i started eating healthier i started lifting working out i figured out what was important to me what was truly important to me and that's how I personally fought my depression, right? You know, I, I work out and I schedule every single day to do stuff that fulfills me and makes me happy. And that's so important. Like, and fulfillment is this. Us sitting here right now, I got this dope set up. I, I bought all this camera equipment and 
I don't care if I get a thousand views. I don't care if I get a hundred thousand views. You know, that's great. But I'm going to be here, you know. So that fulfills me. Like this, doing this right now, man, just talking, that's what fulfills me because I know somebody's listening and someone can really connect with it. And, you know, I have my clothing brand going. Last week, I didn't make as many videos and I'm not sorry for it. I'm putting all my efforts into my clothing brand, St. Michael. So when you guys decide, damn, I want to buy something from St. Michael, bro, I'm telling you, this is going to be the best like stuff you've ever gotten. I put my soul, I put everything into that clothing and that truly fulfills me. So I hope that answers your question. It really just comes down to what fulfills you, what makes you happy. Nobody can make you happy. Nothing specifically, materials can't make you happy. It's just finding that fulfillment. And my fulfillment is like inspiring people, you know, just, I have such a great opportunity and it's a blessing to be able to be a YouTuber because I can not do anything if I want to, but obviously I love to work, but you know, I'm just blessed, man. And whether people hate or not, which I don't really get hate, shout out to you guys, it's all love. There's no reason to hate me because all I want is a better you, you know? You can't hate somebody that wants better for themselves and better for you, right? So. Yeah, man, I hope that helps you. I would say definitely like working out and eating healthy really helps me a lot. You know, I'm such a happier person and it's just important. So I'll leave you guys with that. Like I said, I do have a Patreon if you guys want to go to that. The reason I made the Patreon is so I don't have to worry about copyrights. If you guys follow me on social media, you saw like the majority of my videos got hit with copyright. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you join Patreon or not. It's a group. We're gonna do dope things with it. There's gonna be like tiers and certain amounts that you can pay a month. I don't care if you sign up. I'm just letting you know I have it. It's your boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Run it. Oh yeah, make sure, hey bro. Let me get that thousand likes again, man. That made me happy. Dance, in the air, now.